what is up guys so sex education season two has been out now and i know a lot of you guys have been wondering how did they do that um intro for the title sex education so in almost every episode they do a little intro then you see the text sex education comes in in some of the episodes you see that they are like tracked to the movement of the camera so it's not just a text on top of the video it's like inside the video but it is not inside the video but it look like it is inside the video but what i'm talking about the right name for it is 3d tracking and in this video that's what i'm going to show you guys how to do i'm going to show some examples of what i'm talking about if you guys don't know what i'm talking about so here's example number one And here's example number three. And also here's example number two. Why did I go to number one and number three? I don't know but yeah guys let's get right into after effects you can do this info in in premiere pro but i rather to do it in after effects mainly because it is much easier and with premiere pro you might have to go keyframe by key i mean frame by frame so here you're gonna go let's bring in our clip that i'm gonna use i'm gonna use this top clip that i find from this website i'm gonna put it up on the screen right now yes that's the website that i use to find this stop stock clip hopefully i don't get copyright or anything for this video if you guys are seeing this video it is because i haven't got copyright or whatever so yes thank god so we're gonna bring this on our timeline this is our stock footage and i want to use just the first six sections of this video and yes guys i've watched this um, footage already just to make this um tutorial more smooth for you guys so here am i so what we're gonna do now is gonna go to the effects and preset and search for 3d tracking no 3d camera tracker not tracking sorry about that guys so you're gonna drag that onto your stock clip and you guys don't have to use stock clip you can use your personal drone footage or whatever footage you guys want to track but it is more better if you guys use footage that are like more stable that you guys gonna see that this footage is very stable that, and the color is very um plain you can literally pick up points easy in this video right here on screen and you want to make it short if you if you say your computer is really slow you're gonna want to make it as short as possible so that way your computer do this really fast as you guys can see my computer is already done analyzing and do what it does best already so here are some tracking points these are all tracking points and this little um circle thing that you see like in the saw movie is basically the perspective or how the the text will be looked so you're gonna want to choose something like say i'm gonna want to use it to make it like align with this building right here so i'm gonna want to choose something that is like sh closely and look like how the building is aligned in the video and i don't want to choose something like this right here because this is flat on the floor and therefore your text would be flat like this so i'm gonna want to choose one of these points on the building that is giving me a good tracking point let's see if i can find back one of those so like one like this so i'm gonna choose that then i'm gonna right click on one of the dots right click and click create camera text and camera so i'm gonna click on that and there's my text and i'm gonna quickly just type in sex let's put out in all caps sex education so there it is sex education typed in and what you guys can do is just basically just wrote um position and rotate it as how you want so i want this to be like right let's say put it on top of the building 
and I want it to make sure it is aligned with the building so I'm just gonna go a few frames forward and make sure that it is aligned and maybe the length as the building so I'm gonna bring this in a bit right there and I should be good just like that and there it is just like that you guys see it is tracked under the building itself and let's say I want to add some shadows so it seems like the sun is actually casting a shadow from the sex education text so it makes it seems more realer so I'm gonna duplicate my text and then I'm gonna go to the effects and presets and type in shadows so then you're gonna want to scroll down till you find um drop shadow press under perspective you're gonna put that on the duplicated layer and you're gonna just put shadows only and let's say we're gonna wanna move that now like here and we're gonna go into the the, the properties under transform and we're gonna make it more flatter so we're gonna change the rotation so I believe we're gonna wanna change, is it this? Yeah, we're gonna wanna change this and make it look more flat on the ground like, and make it look like it is an actual shadow. So let's make it flat more on the ground like that. And that's too, and that should be it. And you guys can make this more bigger because, sorry about that. You guys can make this more bigger because as you guys know, the shadow might be bigger than the object sometimes so just just make this bigger and just like that and you can soften the shadows to make it look more blend I guess and that's it that's how you get the shadows guys so here it is again and BAM it is showing the shadows and it is showing the text and you guys want to make sure you crop this up so I'm just gonna go ahead and crop this up right here and let's just crop it up that everything finishes same time and we don't got any extras so here it is guys let's just also change the properties on this composition let's change that property to about six seconds guys so six that should be good and here we go guys just like that we recreated the sex education intro scene this is pretty simple this is probably one of the most easiest thing to do in after effects and as you guys can see the shadow is cast and you guys can also go ahead and do a lot of things with this effect you guys can um put in images instead instead of text you guys can do let's say you want to track the shadow separately you guys could also do that you guys could do masking so like right here when it is um the trees are right here you could make it make make it behind the tree instead of making it on top of the tree because you know in real life it would be behind the tree and not on top of the tree so you could go ahead and use your masking tool and also do that and just keyframe it out and all those fancy stuff but there you can see sex education sits perfectly on top of that building and it makes it seems like it is in the actual footage and just like that guys pretty simple and easy let me know if this tutorial was helpful or not also like comment share and subscribe because a lot of you guys are watching and are not subscribed so thank you guys for watching this been another after effects tutorial let me go ahead, let me know what you guys think and also make sure to set, check out some of my more tutorial on after effects and I also do tutorial on premiere pro and photoshop so make sure to check those out thank you guys for watching and again make sure to subscribe and i see you guys in my next video peace